Hello everyone, my name is Anand and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about Facebook custom audience um, and I will be going through the steps involved in installing Facebook Pixel um, and basically um, helping you to start tracking conversions um, and um, create lookalike audience and custom audience based on your website traffic. So let's get started. Uh, the first thing you want to do is uh, to log into your business manager account. Uh, it's business.facebook.com. Um, if you don't have a business manager account, then um, you can create one using your Facebook profile. Um, and once you log in, uh, click on this hamburger icon, um, and then you should see uh, something called as pixels. Uh, once you click on pixels, um, you should get to this screen and initially um, when you have not installed a pixel or when you don't have a pixel uh, the first step is to create a new pixel for your website um, now keep in mind that um, you only get to create uh, one pixel for an ad account uh, but if you want a, um, a new pixel then you need to create a separate ad account um, secondly you can use um, a pixel on multiple di different websites. So let's say your business has um, you know, different websites for different purposes. Um, and even if they are on different domains or subdomains, um, you can use the same pixel on, um, on, you know, on each of those domains and subdomains. So that's not going to be an issue. Um, so click on this create a pixel and um, you can name your pixel um, you can add a custom name or you can keep the default name that facebook provides um, and then enter your website url so i'm gonna you know enter my website url and then hit create all right and that's pretty much it in terms of creating your Facebook pixel. Um, now you do have like two easy options. If you have a WordPress content management system, uh, then you can choose this option. Uh, my website is on WordPress, uh, so I can choose this option. Um, but I'm going to be showing you how to install uh, a pixel using Google Tag Manager. Now. Um, if you don't know what a Google Tag Manager is, um, I think you should definitely use Google Tag Manager for your business. Um, just to quickly, you know, summarize uh, what what and why you need a Google Tag Manager account. Um, as your business grows, um, you might be using a bunch of tools like heat map tools, uh, pop up tools, um, and you know, tracking tools, email tools. You know, basically you will have a bunch of JavaScript that you will have to keep on embedding on your website. And as your business grows and as your website gets more and more traffic and the more tools you use, um, embedding JavaScript code on your web page is going to be costly in terms of website page load time. And in the long run, it will take a lot of time to load your page because it has to load a bunch of different scripts. So it is not very efficient in terms of website performance. Secondly, you will have to manually, uh, you know, embed those tags, which is a nightmare. Um, you will always have to contact your web developer or if you are working with an agency who is hosting a website, you will have to keep on emailing them. So to be more efficient, um, it is always recommended. Even if you are a small scale or just starting up a new website, it is always recommended to create a Google Tag Manager account that will take care of all your, you know, tagging and scripting and firing and triggering and everything. Um, I have a bunch of videos on Google Tag Manager, so make sure to subscribe to my channel and watch my Google Tag Manager tutorials, um, and it will show you exact steps required in creating a GTM account. So without further ado, uh, let's choose Google Tag Manager as an option. Uh, and then hit, um, you know, set up partner. Um, and then hit continue. 
um, I'm going to be selecting my email address allow um, it's logging into my Google Tag Manager account uh, it found the container and then hit finish finish setup all right awesome setup complete um, so let's see pixel helper oh yeah so this is an extension that you can use uh, pixel helper I'm using it over here as you can see um, basically what it will do is it will tell you if the Facebook pixel is firing on your website or not um, so I'm gonna hit close um, and that's pretty much it in terms of setting up pixel now I know you guys are wondering like what if you have a Drupal website or what if you want to uh, you know set up a tag manually um, you can actually do that all you have to do is um, click on this setup option and there is an option called as setup manually click on that and what you will have to do is you will have to copy this code um, and paste it in the header on your web page and you will also have to copy this code um, and paste it in the head tag before the head tag um, and that's it I mean uh, in terms of you know setting up the pixel and once you are done you can actually enter the URL of your website so I'm gonna enter my website and then send traffic okay I have reached my website and then check awesome look at that um, so this is my new pixel 2074 and yeah that's my another ad account that I have so yep Facebook pixel is working properly and everything is working fine so awesome um, all right so yeah I think uh, that's it in terms of setting up the pixel okay so the so the other thing I want to talk about is how do you create um, a custom audience uh, based on your website traffic now um, just to give you a quick highlight on that uh, website custom audience is basically uh, will allow you to retarget your website visitors um, um, using a Facebook ad and it's one of the most and the uh, most powerful and most important kind of you know Facebook targeting because retargeting uh, through website visitors um, is going to increase your conversion rate uh, it's going to decrease your co cost per lead or cost per acquisition um, and it does give you more um, higher return on investment so to create a custom audience um, you need to there is an option to create a custom audience right from the pixel tab but I want to show you um, the most commonly used method so click on your you know hamburger icon and click on audiences alright once you click on your audiences um, you have three different options click on create a custom audience and as you can see um, there are five different options over here so the first one is customer file this is where you can um, you know upload a bunch of email address of your customers or prospects and you can create an audience based on out of you know email addresses the second one is website traffic and again as I mentioned earlier uh, you will need to install Facebook pixel uh, which we have already done um, app activity is nothing but create a, an audience based on how people interact with your app uh, there's also offline activity and engagement so let's click website audience and um, it's super easy actually once you click website audience um, you can select the pixel and then you can add a rule that says I want to create an, an audience based out of all the website visitors in the past 30 days um, you can change this number to any any number of days you want 
um, and then you can simply you know name your audience as all website visitors 60 days um, you can include more um, you know conditions um, but I would recommend creating separate audience for each of your you know requirements rather than combining them into one um, so I think I'm happy with this and then just hit create audience all right awesome so once you hit create audience um, Facebook will start populating uh, right now you know obviously I'm not getting enough traffic <laughs> so it's below 1000 um, it should take you know a couple of hours to populate um, but then you can uh, once you know you know if the audience is ready you can immediately start using that audience um, in your Facebook ads um, all right moving on I want to show you how you can create a lookalike audience based out of your website visitors so you click on create audience um, and then click on lookalike audience um, and then click on source um, and then click on you know other sources um, and you can as you can see um, your recently created website audience is over here so simply choose your website audience that you just created um, and choose the country where you want to find uh, people who are similar to your you know website visitors so I'm gonna say United States and um, Facebook will uh, give you you know a scale of 0 to 10 now if you choose um, anywhere between 0 1 2 or 3 it means you are trying to find people who are most likely to be similar to your customer audience sorry to your custom audience if you choose like 5 6 and 7 then you're going far away in terms of similarity and if it's 8 9 and 10 um, you know your lookalike audience you know might be somewhat similar to your custom audience uh, but you know the closer you keep your scale towards zero the more similar your audience will be um, your lookalike audience will be to your custom audience I hope that makes sense you know so zero one and two you know high, high very very similar uh, eight nine and ten less similar so and there's also a definition over here so <laughs> anyways um, so I have selected one person and you know the size is around two million uh, let's say you want to create multiple different audiences um, then you can click on you know show advanced option and then um, basically you know you can create like uh, three four or six different types of audiences uh, based on similarity in one go but you know I'm just gonna select one and then I'm just gonna create select create audience awesome so and that's how you know you can create a lookalike audience based out of your website visitors um, I think that's pretty much it guys for the video we talked about pixels how to install a pixel uh, how to create a website visitor you know audience and how to create a lookalike audience um, if you like this video please do subscribe to my channel I'm I'm uploading weekly digital marketing videos so please hit the subscribe button if you want to know anything else uh, let me know in the comment section uh, and any likes and you know comments and shares are much appreciated I'll see you next time thank you